Hello everybody and welcome to today's webinar. Today we will be discussing the manufacturer part number and the importance of adding it into your eBay listings. We will discuss why it is beneficial to add this information into your eBay listings as well as the proper way to do so. So that way um, you have full searchability via MPN or manufacturer part number. <clears throat> you will hear me refer or to manufacturer part number as MPN throughout the webinar quite frequently, so please know that those two are interchangeable. I will ple uh, please note as well um, that this is, I will be working here from a test e-link and test eBay account, so I do ask that you do not use any of the titling, such as down here where you see how it says test do not buy. Please do not use any of the titling, any of the photos, examples, or pricing examples um, as advice on how you should um, price or title your like items. Mm -hmm. So why should we enter the MPN into our eBay listings? Um, clearly the MPN has to be entered in individually um, per for each individual listing, so this will take more time. So um, it's definitely something that you want to make sure will benefit you. The reason that we want to enter the manufacturer part number into our eBay listings is first and foremost because that's how a lot of your buyers are searching for your item. Oftentimes our buyers are not sure what they're looking for. They don't know um, exactly how to describe the item they're looking for. They're not, um, they're leery about whether or not they're describing it correctly. Um, so what they do is they call their dealership and they'll get the manufacturer part number for the component that broke on their on their vehicle. And what they'll do is they will go into Google um, and they will, and again, off, or it's oftentimes Google where they start their search. They'll go into Google and they will enter that MPN in or the manufacturer part number into the search bar. Um, if you don't have the manufacturer part number in your eBay listing in the correct place, which I will go into uh, during this webinar, then you're not going to pop up in Google search. And more than half of our traffic actually starts in Google search. Um, the ones that, the buyers that do start in eBay, same thing. If they start searching using the manufacturer part number and you don't have it in your listing, and again, you have to have it in the listing in the proper place, you will not show up in search. So this will greatly benefit you because it will allow you to be found, period, first and foremost. Another benefit to having the manufacturer part number uh, within your listing is eBay has been doing a lot of work on what they call product pages. What a product page is on eBay is it will, so you're, well, I'll just say the example from the buyer standpoint, your buyer will search for a manufacturer part number in eBay. And what eBay is going to do is they're going to pop up uh, with a product page for your buyer. Now this um, isn't really, they're still doing the work um, for eBay Motors on this, so we're not going to be able to show you this during the webinar. But what eBay will do is they will pop up a product page comparing new, remanufactured, aftermarket, and used components, used products. Um, so, you know, before where your buyer may not have been considering buying a used auto part, now all of a sudden they're seeing this comparison and they're seeing the price differences now they might just consider doing so. So you definitely want to land on those product pages because you're probably going to save your buyer a whole lot of money, um, but you're not going to land on them unless you have the manufacturer part number included in your listing. Now, um, for the product pages, in order to land on those, you also have to have the brand within your listing alongside the manufacturer part number. But um, when you're an e-link user, you already have that generated for you automatically because we do that work for you we base the brand off of your donor vehicle. All right. So uh, to enter the manufacturer part number in through eLink, it's actually rather simple. I'm gonna head to my listed tab here. And again, you're going to do this um, on an individual listing basis. I'm gonna start with this top one here and I'm going to show you what you will see to begin with in part details. So you expand out part details here. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. Item specifics. The item specific section here translates directly to the item specific section within your eBay listing, which I will show you in just a second, but I want to show you here brand. This here was generated based on the donor vehicle. 
as you can see up here, donor vehicle is a Chevrolet Camaro. Camaro. Now the manufacturer part number you're going to see does not apply in your listing or um, to begin with. Now you, what you will do is you will override this with the manufacturer part number, right? But the reason it says, and I'll go out of this and go back into it so you can see, the reason your listings will start off by saying does not apply is because eLink automatically puts does not apply in there for you. And the reason we do this is because you have to have the manufacturer part number field filled out within your eBay listing, um, whether it has an actual manufacturer part number, and if it doesn't, then it has to say does not apply. So feel free and please do take, you know, um, and override that. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on over to this actual eBay listing, which I can actually do just by clicking this link here. And that will bring me to the actual eBay listing. And you will see down in item specifics. Again, item specifics. You will see. What's this place that we pulled that from? All right. And we have MPN does not apply. All right. So now I'm going to show you a listing through eLink where I did override that information. So I've got down here, and I've got this item here. Again, I expand part details to show my manufacturer part number as XYZ. And I click into that eBay listing. And you can see that the manufacturer part number is there. Now, oftentimes I log into eLink accounts and I see that the manufacturer part number is not in the manufacturer part number section of eLink. So it's not translating over to this section within eBay, but instead sellers have it within their conditions and options Sorry. right up here, which comes through from PowerLink or Pinnacle, depending on uh, which system you're on. Please, please note and always remember that that does not do you any good within eBay or Google search. Having the manufacturer partner in conditions and options is worthless when it comes to eBay and Google search. It is a non searchable component of the listing. eBay and Google search only pull from certain aspects of the listing. MPN is one of them. Your manufacturer part number has got to be in the manufacturer part number field. The designated field through eLink here. OK, so please be sure that you are entering that into there now. If you're a Pinnacle user and your inventory personnel is adding it into the comment section, which is conditions and options, the comment section when they are inventorying, that is great. That saves you a lot of time. But what you will need to do in eLink is copy and paste it over into the manufacturer part number section. Don't don't copy and paste it over. You can, I mean, if you want to copy and paste it over into the title, that's fine. But it remember. That is not the designated spot. If you copy and paste it over into the title, that's going to help you be found in eBay if a customer searches via manufacturer part number, but it's not going to help you be found in Google. So the best thing to do is make sure that it is in the manufacturer part number field within eLink so that way you are searchable on both eBay and Google. Okay. Now, if you are on PowerLink, and your inventory personnel is already entering that manufacturer part number and conditions and options. I highly, highly urge you to um, have a discussion with them and let them know that as long as you are on the latest version of PowerLink, so all you need to do there is make sure you update your system. If you're on the latest version of PowerLink, there is now a section within the add and maintain part field where it is called reference number. You can actually add the manufacturer part number field into that reference number in PowerLink. What that will do is it will actually translate over into other part number down here in eLink. But I want to advise you that that field is not search is not searchable for is not the best place um, for searchability for Google and eBay. 
So what you'll want to do is if you are entering the manufacturer part number within the reference field in PowerLink, all you need to do is select all, hit bulk change, part details, it's always in part details, under MPN down here, replace MPN with other part number. That will copy that information over to the MPN field within e Link. Now, the reason we had to do it that way is because we didn't want to override anybody's information that was already in the manufacturer part number field in eLink when we made that update to PowerLink. If we would have had it translate automatically to the manufacturer part number field, it would have overridden um, the work that um, many sellers already put in. And oftentimes, sellers um, have that information in eLink and not PowerLink. So, um, Please feel free to reach out um, if you would like to go over the details on how to get the manufacturer part number to transfer over automatically through PowerLink. Um, it will save you a lot of time and trust me, it will make you a lot more money. Um, I have never heard anything um, but positive uh, feedback from sellers who have began adding in the manufacturer part number um, into their listings. Um, it is a, I've heard, oftentimes I hear it as a game changer. So um, definitely make sure that you are adding the manufacturer part number whenever possible. And again, please make sure that you are adding it into the manufacturer part number field within eLink so that you are um, optimizing your listings properly. If you have any questions about today's webinar, would like to go over it uh, individually, or would like to schedule an account review, which again, those are always a reminder that those are always free for all Hollander sellers, please email us at eBay at hollanderparts.com. And of course, if you have any feedback on our YouTube channel and would like um, any, or if you would like any topics covered, please let us know and we'll be happy to, to get them on here. Thank you so much.